All right, welcome to Close Look. Angina Rai with you, and I'm sitting with the nuclear engineer. So if anything blows up, we're, we're well taken care of. It is Ria Bagnari. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? We're doing, we're doing really great. So if someone wants to become a nuclear engineer, what, what, how do they get there? What do they take in school? Well, <laughs> big profession. It definitely is. Well, um, you, you know, nuclear engineering is not different from any other engineering or any other schooling for that matter. Um, it's the same science, it's the same physics, it's the same chemistry, but we just focus on a little different uh, aspect of engineering and uh, that's what it is all about. Um, when I think of nuclear engineers, I, it's, a, it's a bad visual that yes. comes in my mind. I'm thinking of Springfield. Yes. I'm thinking of the Simpsons and yeah. um, Homer and his, his, his power plant. <laughs> where, where do nuclear engineers work? Nuclear engineers work um, in nuclear plants. And so, you know, people have this misconception that nuclear is bad and every time nuclear is associated with a bad word, but it's not. It, it in fact, it produces at least 14% of Canadian en energy and electricity and uh, it's it's a very important part of our all our lives okay. okay and where did you go to school I go to school in McMaster University which is in Ontario near Toronto okay. and um, they have a nuclear plant on site and we do lots of research and it helps produce all kinds of electricity and iso medical isotopes for cancer and all kinds of stuff okay. so what, what they're showing on 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 TV and The Simpsons is not not what what real nuclear plants are all about. No, it's not. In fact, <laughs> no. Um, they they show everything's purple when everything's not purple. <laughs> everything's fine, and um, people don't leave there with twelve kids and twelve eyes. They don't do that. Um, but no, it's um, it's it's very important in today's life because all our health depends on it all chemicals that come, every need, everything, even the food gets processed by nuclear energy. And so, so. so you're actually helping to make sure that everything is safe and the chemicals and the things that we do use, that they can be used in everyday life without it being harmful, right? Exactly, yes, it's, uh, it's very safe, yeah. It's yeah. Like the opposite of what people think well, of yes. nuclear. Yes, definitely, and that's the biggest part, you know, we need to, we as Canadians need to understand that nuclear is safe and it's not as bad as people make, make it sound. Okay. So when, when you were in high school and you were thinking about different professions, how did you know that you wanted to get into science and engineering more particularly? Well, um, I was back in grade 10, I, I had an opportunity to go to visit the London, uh, sorry, the European Space and Station in London. And they were, at that time it was very exciting because they were pre preparing the Mars rover and, you know, spaceships that went and saw Mars. Well, based, so then I went down and they showed me as speaking to the scientists there, they told me, you know, this is the possible fields that you can have. and. It made sense, physics, chemistry, all, I always had a f love for physics and I said, you know what, nuclear energy, energy it is. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is a very unconventional career and it's very important. Why, why do you love your job and how do you think you're making a difference in the world? Um, I love my job because every day I get to, I get to meet people who have misconceptions that <laughs> nuclear is bad. Yes, and no, that's okay. And um, every day is an exciting day. Every day I have an opportunity to um, to tell myself that you know what I I've been positive. I've worked hard. I have you know I've I've been I've been faithful to myself and my parents, and um, I've studied hard. And every day is an exciting opportunity to solve problems mm -hmm. and make new discoveries. <laughs> and so, um, in the future, where do you think um, you know you would like to be? If you had the the most precious opportunity in your career to go, what what would that be? That would be um, somewhere in the management of an energy company. So, keeping true to my line, keeping I I like what I work. I, you know, I like my work. I enjoy. I want to stay in this for the rest of my life, and. Um, be out there somewhere, you know, be in the management, try, try uh, inspiring other young generation kids to go start looking at possible avenues other than, you know, your regular, regular jobs and even, even just any avenue, any professional avenue, 
that will help you make your life better and your family's life better. So does um, your family encourage you and do they support you and when you first told them that this is the career path that you wanted to take, they were, you know, gung-ho about Ria doing <laughs> nuclear engineering? Yes, absolutely. In fact, I was, um, when I decided that I wanted to be a nuclear engineer, I was in a country called Oman, which is right next to Dubai. Now, we went back to India and then India offers programs, but then it's all, f of, you know, it's always in their masters. So they don't have a big scope in nuclear energy as yet. So we came down to Canada and me doing nuclear engineering entitled me to go to Toronto, leave them all alone in Surrey. And I think that was a big step and my parents were always very supportive, very, very supportive. Okay. And, and I touched on this before, um, if, if you wanted to make a difference with your career, what, what would you like that to be? And what do you think you can do with your career and um, globally, how, how do you think this is gonna help? Well, um, we uh, we as you know we as a part of Earth are going through a very bad time. We are going through global warming, and encouraging people and speaking to people out there and telling them that look, nuclear energy is a very is a green source of energy rather than you know looking at thermal power plants to generate. So to spread the word out there to encourage people to look into. In this and start researching I think that would be a difference so one day you know talking to people like you and talking to people other you know through other avenues yeah. that's what I hope Beautiful. that one so day nuclear energy can, is, is yes. a green energy yes. yes one day we will be out of this global warming and we live we plan to live yeah excellent Ria thank you so much on a final note if you had any positive encouraging words to the youth what would they be um, there are opportunities out there and uh, people need to work hard and there's always a door that's open and all that's needed is a little research, a little hard work and if you try for it, you can always get the, you know, you can, if you try for the stars, you'll at least land up at the moon and that's what I think <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much Ria for um, so much. airing out some of the misconceptions. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.